All right, let's uh, break down some of what we just heard from uh, Congressman Israel. So um, I, I know you're friends with uh, Congressman Ryan from Ohio, and he said definition of insanity, doing the same thing, expecting a different result. Every trend line is Democrats have been going in the wrong direction. And the one common thing is she's been the speaker and now the minority leader of the House. Is it time for new blood? It may be, but the problem is is that no one in the Democratic Party predicted that Hillary would lose, and so they didn't prepare the bench. They didn't prepare any backup for uh, Mrs. Pelosi. So I think Mrs. Pelosi should get two more years, and uh, Tim will make a great governor of Ohio or a great U.S. senator from Ohio. And in these next two years, as Mrs. Pelosi and the leadership prepares a younger, more diverse, vigorous team, uh, you're, you're good, but I'm they gonna, will, but I'm uh, stay. will have them available Help in 2018. Help me out, we know Game of Thrones here a little bit, okay? If you're going to kill the queen, you better kill the queen. My, my point is, it's one thing doing a nice soundbite for CNN, but if you don't line up the people for a coup, you better not try it, right? Well, it's happened before. As you remember, Heath Shuler from North Carolina, mm -hmm. NFL uh, number one draft pick, didn't make it too well long in the NFL. Terrific guy, great athlete. Uh, but he challenged Mrs. Pelosi as well. He survived physically, although he only <laughs> served another one or two terms uh, after <laughs> that. that Read between the lines here. From a policy standpoint, Democrats... Um, they're among the gigs that, uh, in, in addition, run the DCCC, Israel also is on the policy committee trying to come up with the right messaging. There's two schools of thought. Hey, you know what? Maybe it didn't work out this last November, but if you figure out a message that works for the Latinos, you figure out a message that works for the African Americans, and you figure out a message that works for the other key demos we're going to get here, we'll get this thing back. Or they try and get the right populist message they didn't get right the last time. Um, and really take a page out of Trump's book. Which way do they go? I think they need to be careful on the identity politics, and I think that's going to be one of the takeaways from this election. The identity politics is a double-edged sword. It stimulates the group that you're targeting. If you're you know, pro-Hispanic messaging, that's going to stimulate the, the voting block of, of Hispanic voters. But it comes at a cost, and the cost was primarily white, less educated voters across the country this time. because. The, the thinking is, well, if you're, if you're saying that I'm a racist for not being sympathetic to the plight of Ill illegal immigrants or undocumented immigrants, then that's turning away other voters. And I think that's one of the lessons that the Democrats need to figure out the next go-round. Look, individual targeting and individual campaign still works. And, and there was very little turnover in the House of Representatives this year. What Democrats are lamenting is that they didn't pick up any gains, not that they lost the seats that they already had. Well, this was your opportunity, because two years from now, it's going to get tougher for them. Governor's races and also the Senate races are up. But, Dom... To me, they got a choice, and that is, I, I've seen what Schumer said right now, which is we screwed up here, there, and the other place, but if they think we're going to give in on some right-wing guy uh, to put on the bench for life, not going to happen. I got the votes to stop it. I also got the votes, he says, they're going to try and repeal Obamacare um, in a whole or whatever else. He usually can count votes pretty well, can Schumer. But remember McConnell said eight years ago, job number one, what was it? Defeating Obama. Right. Whatever he wanted to do, we were going to say no to, unless we absolutely had to. So my point is, should Democrats play ball? If they help out Trump with the votes he may need over some of the Freedom Caucus folks or whatever, get a big infrastructure plan, something they want to do. To me, that's a huge win for Trump. You're going to have guys in hard hats here, shovel-ready projects. People are going to see stuff getting built here. Forget about the deficits. Nobody remembers that till the election or whatever. In the meantime, he's going to look like he gets stuff done. He's a builder. Good for the country, but bad politics for Democrats. Should they work to help out Trump if it helps out the country, or should they do just what the Republicans did, obstruction 101? I'm sure there are some Democrats that will say the latter, uh, you know, play hardball politics. But things are going so badly for the country. How could Democrats not play ball with Trump? I agree with you. He's going to come off as woman rank. The city couldn't fix this for years. I stepped in and knighted the process, and pr presto, it's done overnight. Under budget, but under, uh, ahead that's of the schedule. line. Yep. That's the line. Uh, 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 what that is it again? Flip and ring. What, what under budget, ahead of that's schedule. That's exactly yep. the line he's going to do with the infrastructure. Schumer wants to uh, get the majority eventually. No one can speak better than that than the congressman. I think Schumer's definitely going to play ball with, with Trump. No doubt about it. Notwithstanding the compliment, I, I want to take exception to my dear friend and well respected friend, Dominic Carter. The country's not doing poorly. We're the greatest economy on the face of the earth, the strongest military on the face of the earth. Incomes just went up. 
for the first time in a long time. Keep we saved the, the, we save the, the car industry. So, objective, I, I hear, so hear objectively, the tell, country is doing well. It can tell and that to should. The middle class family. It can and they should. Can't pay for middle the kid class to go to incomes college. just went up. We can and should do better, but let's not lose perspective. You know, We're in the best shape of any country on but Earth. But you know what is doing very, very badly? is the Democratic Party. And I think this is what we've all forgotten. Before this election, they had very few state legislatures, very few governorships. Their bench is very narrow. They lost the House two big times in 2010, 2014, and they don't have the Senate. So the Democratic Party's only hope was the White House, which of course they lost. So they have some real building to do. And I agree with you, right? It's not just Nancy Pelosi's okay, issue. The Democratic you, Party has got to rebuild too. at the state and local level. What happened? And that bench has Obama got to be rebuilt. Obama had the White House, he had the Senate, and he had the House. I can go through times. For, for when two one years. party controls, you know, both chambers, you know, it doesn't usually work out really well the next time around. Now, I know the mm -hmm. schedule helps them out. There's more mm -hmm. Democratic governors that are up than Republicans. I get all that, and senators too. But if you're the Democrats, do you say to yourself, Jeannie, I just got to give this guy enough rope, and he's going to hang himself talking about Trump. Well, they always overplay their hand. Well, you, you know what else helps the Republicans? The way they have gerrymandered those districts at the House level, which makes it near impossible for Democrats to get the House in the next about eight years, probably. I mean, maybe six years if they're lucky. So it's going to be an uphill battle for them. So, you know, or do they try to be obstructionist? After all they said in 2008 about McConnell doing what he did to Barack Obama, they're going to be, a, they're going to be Look, obstructionist. Look, got the Supreme Court doing uh, that. I, I don't know that it worked for McConnell. I really don't. Yeah, they did finally get the White House and they have the House and the Senate, but I don't know that it worked in the interest of McConnell. You know, what did the Republicans actually achieve policy-wise? Nothing. So I can't sit here and say, with all due respect to Democrats, you should be obstructionist and do exactly what you said not oh, to do. Oh, for the country you don't want them to be, but you wonder politically, they've been They've been at every turn that, thwarted my, in terms of trying to get legislation through. They look at, they wouldn't even let them have a vote in the Supreme Court. But, Are they really incentivized to play ball? Well, you know, good government is good politics. Uh, not to be a Pollyanna about this, oh but, and I'm going to agree with Jeannie that it has a lot of the work has to be done in local and the yes. state legislatures so that the redistricting that occurs in 2021 20. yeah. will result in fairer districts, which give Democrats a better opportunity I wouldn't hold your breath on to that win. One. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we have a country to run. So the Democrats, without sacrificing their principles on things they agree with, uh, infrastructure repairs, some tax reform. I got less than a minute, real quick, though. Medicare Democrats, reform. I think, are going to have a problem that I haven't seen in a while. Progressives who've go, gone along to get along, okay, I think they've said, wait a minute, if Bernie was the candidate, maybe we would have done better. If, uh, the, if the Warrens of the West weren't, weren't taking any guff and trying to like just play four corners here and run out the clock, maybe we would have won. I'm sick and tired of listening to the moderate Democrats here because we never win doing it their way. Now we're going to do it our way. There's a chance here. Forget about the Republicans breaking into two parties like we heard all election season. Democrats could have a major cleave. Well, you've obviously been talking to my two children who are in their <laughs> 20s, uh, who were Bernie Sanders people, uh, and thought that he would win, and maybe he would have won. But I'm going to say one other thing in the 10 seconds you have left in this segment. We ought to change the way we vote in America. Why should Americans have to wait online for two, three, four, totally five the hours? Right, you I am. Did not I want to get all. this in. If oh. you really want to improve the <laughs> prospects for Democrats and make it fairer for all Americans to vote, you know, get rid of these obstructions to voting. I wish we had a term like oive because that's the only thing I don't believe where you just went on that one, avoiding the question. Your kids are right. All right, coming up next. Trump finding out that repealing Obamacare may not be as easy as he thought it would be, and it's even more complicated for all slew of Republican governors who signed on to be a part of it. Talk about that straight ahead.